Hello, yeah, I've been asked to do a video about speaker placement. Oh God, this is an email there, I beg your pardon. Um, yeah, uh, so I've been asked to do a video about speaker placement and I don't know really a huge amount about it other than just try and experiment, but hopefully in the next few minutes I'll give you a couple of guidelines really to try and sort it out. Okay, now I've dropped a few clangers uh, in the last couple of videos I've made about Hi-Fi because I said something about stand mounters being harder to place than um, uh, floor standing speakers. And that's generally base issues, okay? Um, it's very hard to get stand mounters to give decent levels of base. Um, and if you have them too close to the wall, then what base there is will boom and resonate, okay? If you get them too far away from the wall, then um, it will be, it'll just sound a bit tinny and a bit bass light really. So it's, it, it's just really uh, experimenting with how close and, and how far away they are from the wall. Now, uh, how a speaker is ported, and this goes for stand mounts and floor standers, will also affect the level of bass that you hear. Okay, now a port is essentially a hole in the speaker. Okay. Um, some of them, sometimes that hole is at the back of the speaker, sometimes it's at the front of the speaker, and sometimes it's actually in the bottom of the speaker and firing downwards towards a kind of plinth where this, like the speakers is kind of standing on a plinth and, you, and you've got this sort of gap there and, and the bass fires down. Okay, now generally, downward firing ports and forward firing ports are far easier to place in a room than, than backward mounting ones. With backward mounting ones, again, if you're close to the wall, you'll get unnatural bass resonance. If you're too far away, it'll sound a bit bass light. So you've got to try and sort of get a, a, a balance in between. And uh, that tends to be uh, further away from the wall than if your uh, speakers have, have sort of front firing ports. So choose a wall that kind of faces out towards the outside of the house, okay? Um, that tends to work best, okay? Place your speakers, um, give, give them a little bit of air, you know, a little bit of space uh, away from the wall. At the moment, I've got my front ported RS5s about eight inches away from the wall, okay? With uh, backward ported ones, you'll need to be further away. Um, and start out with them sort of pointing straight down, hopefully, if you can get it, the long end of the room, okay? If that outside wall is uh, sort of the sort of narrower part of the wall, then you'll be able to fire them down, and that's kind of the best way to do it, okay? Um, and then um, experiment with towing. Now, I've got an app that helps me, and it's called Genilec. Uh, and I'll, hold on, I'll just get it for you. Uh, you won't be able to see it, obviously, but here's, here it is. And essentially, it, uh, in, it gives you both speakers. You can also, it can also do surround sound as well. But here's it, here it is in stereo mode, okay? You just place the phone on top of the speaker, okay? And you tell it when the speakers are straight. There's nothing, there's nothing on here that's gonna tell you exactly when it's straight, so you've gotta do that bit by eye, I suppose. Um, and uh, then, uh, as you start to tow the speaker in, and by towing, here they are straight-ish. Hold on, let me get straight. Quite a difficult thing for me, I uh, uh, kind of acknowledge. Okay, so here they are, and just sort of turn them in. Okay, so they're gonna be about two meters apart. Mine aren't, I'm afraid, because I can't get them, I haven't got enough room for that, so they're about 1.5 meters apart. Okay, but here they are, and then you just sort of tow them in, just a little bit like that and as you tow the speakers in this app will tell you how many degrees it is and <coughs> for like one person to get the best stereo image from their listening seat which is going to be at the point of a triangle okay imagine a triangle like that okay here are your speakers where my thumbs are okay is that right yeah something like that so here here Right, where my fingers are meeting, that's where you're going to be sitting, at the middle of the triangle, okay? And my speakers are there, okay? So, if you, to if you tow your speakers in, then um, 
between about sort of 15 and 20 degrees is kind of like optimum for being able to get uh, uh, a one person to be able to sit in the middle of that triangle at, at the point of at the other third point of the triangle and uh, get the best stereo effect okay if you want more people to be able to get um, a, a fairly decent stereo effect then you just got to toe them out just a little bit more at the moment mine are about eight or nine degrees and I found that that works okay um, and that's really all I know about speaker placement okay you've just got to try it and see okay just experiment with how far away from the wall you are and uh, also just experiment with that towing try and get them to match which is why this app helps because the um, once you've sort of used it it's um, your speakers will look decent you know they'll look like you've you haven't just sort of plonked them down any old how okay and uh, yeah it um, and, and just try it okay um, it does help to go and have a demo at a hi-fi shop of, of any speakers really um, I mean I've, I've heard the Riga RX3s and RX5s and the PMC 2023s which are all jolly good speakers and uh, it kind of gives you something to aim for really and then just try and get that effect in your house really and uh, you know all you have to do is experiment okay and uh, there you go that's all I know really so see you later bye yeah, and I'm back again just very quickly because there's something I forgot to say. And that is uh, to try and use uh, sensible recordings for sort of checking out your your speaker placement, okay? And initially, I would aim for uh, something like a, a very simple mono recording, okay? You don't want anything that has got too many instruments playing, preferably like one person speaking now I've got a test record I've got my give yourself a stereo check out sort of record from the 60s but something like you know a, an acoustic guitar and a, and a singer really in mono okay get that as firmly in the center as you can so that you can kind of you know reach out and almost touch the people that are playing okay or speaking or whatever um, and then uh, Choose some recordings that you know of where, you know, you've got sort of pretty heavy bass. I mean, I know that, uh, for example, my Knitting Sawney CDs are quite heavy bass and I've uh, got a Joan Armour trading one. The Joan Armour trading one is actually the one to use uh, for me because uh, it's, um, it's the album This Charming Life. And in particular, the title track has bass that can shake the walls if you're not careful okay and uh, so it, it's a case of you know maximizing your speaker placement to kind of minimize bass resonances and uh, keep everything sort of well balanced and less neighbor annoying I suppose really than anything else you know because you want to be able to turn it up and uh, you know if if at the volume that you like it the bass is too much move your speakers further away from the walls okay and uh, that's really it okay so uh, I shall see you next time Bye.